Okay, so we got part three going on these brooders. Another episode of Filthy Bench. It actually keeps getting worse, if that's possible. I can't wait to have these things finished. And I can clean it up for about 30 seconds and then start some other pile of crap. Not that these are a pile of crap, but that is. So, anyways, um, I've been messing around. Keith doesn't want a blade on his. So, um, but I kind of do on my own, so I've been trying to figure out how to make one work. Anyways, you seem to have it working okay. Next question, how did I do it? Okay. Well, I started out, and this is kind of related to my dump boxes as well with the tarps. I've been having a hard time finding these springs, uh, at least from a supplier that doesn't want to charge more than a dollar a piece for them. And, um, yeah, anyway, so uh, I asked my dad about it, and luckily enough, in his stash of stuff, he had some piano wire, which is very stiff. And uh, so anyway, now I'm making my own springs. And I can roll left hand, right hand, whatever. I can make a spring in about 30 seconds. And it's cheap. So anyway, that's good. And a business that it's hard to make money in. Cheap is good. So, anyhow, getting back to these, what I ended up doing, I had a bit of a brain fart here yesterday, uh, working on my own machine. I was trying to figure out how to make the drums vibrate. I got these uh, vibrating motors, and I was getting frustrated with trying to figure out. I'm not really frustrated, but I can't come up with a decent way to mount this inside the drum without it taking two days to machine parts. And on and on and on and it'll before I know it I'll have a thousand dollar model here or I'll need to get a thousand dollars out of it to make it worthwhile. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But I just left that for now and I anyways, getting back to my blade. What I ended up doing was I made a spring for each side, a left and a right, I drilled out the plastic little tits that are on here, put in some three sixteenth stainless steel pins. And then with the springs, that takes care of the downward action. Oops. On both sides, so it's, you can kind of see it's drilled up into there. And the other side is drilled and bent up into the structure so that it can't move. It's actually a, a bit on the stiff side. Probably doesn't need to be that stiff. It'll almost lift the front of the machine off the ground. And keep in mind there's no weight in the rollers yet, it's just the way the brood is, so. Anyway, then I carefully cut this out and I mounted the little little uh, motor in here. Little gear motor or whatever. These are the, kind of the same thing that's used in the Fregelli actuators and uh, little miniature Warren winches and so on and so forth. It's a bit tall a gear ratio. I have these uh, for the tarps on the trailers and trucks, so they're a little bit fast. They're like uh, 100 RPM, I believe. These ones are, they're the slowest ones that I had, but it's, it's a, actually too fast. It's a little bit hard on the motor, so. Anyway, springs pull it down, spring lines on the drum, sucks it back up. Pretty basic. If you go too far in the downward motion, this eventually wraps up and goes the other way. It's just not too bad. My only decision that I'm thinking about is um, whether or not I should try to add a limit switch to one side of this, or well, more than likely on this side, since that's where the wiring goes. But that'll that would shut it off when it tops out. Um, otherwise, I'll have to. Uh, Make sure I'm on the game because if I stall the motor out, obviously it's going to burn the motor out or bust the gear train or whatever. But um, anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. Got uh, not sure what I'm going to do with the vibrators, but we'll see. I was hoping to just mount them in the frame, but those motors that I got are too big, and most of the other smaller vibrators that you can buy that are actually from a pager or a cell phone or whatever, they're only 1.5 to 3 volts, so as far as I know. They would fit nicely, but uh, they probably scream really bad and fall apart. So 
Anyways, it's a blade update. So, thanks for watching.